Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and install a removable battery controller. In a Motorrad bikes, similar frame mounted controller are in X1, X2, X1 Limited Edition, Legend 07, Trex Air, EMX, Trex Plus. Before we start, let's go over the tools you'll need for this job. You'll need a cable cutter, Allen key set, a screwdriver, and some cable ties and pair of safety gloves. It's also a good idea to have a clean workspace to keep track of small parts like screws. In this video we are using Legend 07 e-bike. Whether you're upgrading, replacing a faulty controller this guide will take you through the entire process step by step. Let's get started. Now, let's move on to removing the controller. Before we start, the first step is to turn off your e-bike and disconnect the battery to ensure safety. This prevents any accidental short circuits while handling electrical components. Once the battery is removed, you can see the controller is housed below the battery and mounted on down tube. Start by removing screws securing the controller using appropriate Allen key or a screwdriver. Once the controller is off from frame, you can see a rubber pad mounted below the controller, which helps to absorb vibrations and for snug fit. Remove them and keep it aside. Next cut the cable ties holding the motor cable and carefully plug off the motor connector, connecting motor and controller. Next carefully remove all the connectors from the hole given on frame, which connects display, brake levers, throttle, front light and other components. You can use a utility pick tool for removing connectors from frame. Take care while removing the wires. Do not forcefully pull the wires. Once all the connectors are out, carefully disconnect the wires connecting the controller to other components one by one. Make sure to take note of where each wire connects, or take a picture for reference and finally remove the controller with motor connector. Now that the old controller is out, let's install the new one. First, go through the notes taken or picture of wiring connection and connect the wires to their corresponding connectors. It's important to match each wire to the correct terminal. If you are confused go through wiring circuit diagram or our other video on wiring connection. Put the wire connectors into the frame carefully one by one through hole provide. Once all connectors are in the frame now place the rubber pads below the controller to reduce vibrations and shocks and position the new controller in the same spot where the old one was and secure it with the screws you removed earlier.
Now connect the motor wire by aligning the arrows on the connector and pushing towards each other until it gets clicked securely. And neatly tie the motor cable with cable ties. With everything back in place, it's time to test your work. Reinstall the battery and turn on the key switch on the throttle. Turn on the display and check the display to make sure it powers up correctly and then test the all functions to ensure everything is functioning properly. If everything is working smoothly, congratulations, you've successfully installed a new controller in your e-bike. If you run into any issues, here are a few troubleshooting tips, double check your wire connections to make sure they're secure and in the correct positions. And if any specific error codes appear on the display, refer to your or our previous video on error codes. We hope this guide was helpful. Thank you and happy riding.